And we now turn our attention to another big story of the day. The U.S. Supreme Court hearing arguments for and against gay marriage across the land. The arguments in a moment. Here in Omaha, several major corporations are among many who are submitting their thoughts. Brandon Scott is live to explain how it works. Same-sex marriage is such a hot-button issue across the country that major corporations are weighing in, trying to influence the outcome, including corporations right here in Omaha. As a company, we believe that the right message, of course, to send to everyone is that everyone is equally valued. Lori Gracer is an attorney for First Data. With 5,000 Omahans on the payroll, First Data is one of the city's most prominent employers. Executives here believe supporting same-sex marriage is good for business. But if they actually strike down these bans, we can recruit better. We're going to have happier employees. If an employee feels valued, they're going to be more productive. So First Data joined more than 300 other big name national corporations throwing their corporate weight behind same sex marriage. The company sent this 62 page legal brief to the U.S. Supreme Court, calling current laws banning same sex marriage discriminatory and urging the court to overturn them. Their argument? Allowing same-sex couples to marry improves employee morale and productivity, reduces uncertainty, and removes wasteful administrative burdens. You are allowed to write a brief to sort of give the court your opinion, to help the court, and the court can either accept the brief or not. They tend to accept them. Constitutional law professor Michael Fenner explains these briefs, called amicus briefs, can actually influence the justices. Sometimes you'll find opinions that will quote amicus briefs that were filed with the court. Coming up at 6.30, we'll tell you about another high-profile company right here in Omaha that signed that same brief. Reporting live with photographer M.H. Jenker, Brandon Scott, WOWT 6 News.